I've been hit with that before. Me too. That's Miss the Beat to that? Sheena. Sh oh, Shotzi knows that it's coming for her too. Keep your eye on Rosemary. What? Whoa! Oh. An Angel Dust? What? Angel Dust just missed it, Shotzi. <laughs> We've never seen that before. No, I Wrestling fans, Angel Dust here. Just want to take a moment to introduce myself. Uh, based out of Youngstown, Ohio, been wrestling about nine years. Uh, trained with JT Lightning and Johnny Gargano. Feel like I'm making a pretty good name for myself. But November 10th at Rise, I plan to go ahead and make a little bit bigger of a name for myself. T tend to try to stand out a little bit, if you will. Um, I don't really tend to get a chance to tell too many people my backstory and wanted to take a second to let all of you know where I came from, I guess you could say. Back about uh, 10 years ago or so, I gave up a career in the United States military to go ahead and do what I do on a weekly basis, sometimes more. I, uh, I guess I set my sights high and wanted to really push to be something. This is what I plan to do, I plan to step up and stand out. And at Rise, I plan to do just that. You see all those kids getting bookings this weekend, all the trainees and stuff. What? All the all the kids, like all these kids getting bookings, all these girls and these trainees and everybody filling in these shows, and here we are sitting at home doing watching nothing. Dragon Ball Z. I don't. Yeah, watching Dragon Ball Z. So what's the problem with that? I mean, I don't, I don't want to watch Dragon Ball Z all weekend, but it'd be nice to. Have wrestled like I was supposed to be this weekend instead of stuff getting canceled and not like less than that. My show just got canceled two weeks ago. Yeah, but that happens. It's right. the nature of these. I understand that, but then I contact promoters and I throw stuff out and let people know that I'm available to, to, for a booking. All these people trying. I have six promoters trying to book me for next weekend. I'm already booked. There's got to be people that were looking for me for that weekend and, and you know, for this this weekend, and now I'm, you know, available, and all of a sudden, oh, it's, never mind, we don't, we don't want to bring anybody else in. We don't want to, we don't want to pay you, we don't want to do it. Just, I feel like I'm not getting the opportunities that I got even a year ago. Doing this 10 years, doing what I've been doing, like, I mean, any place I go, anything that I do, I feel like I get a lot of compliments on my work it's good but, well yeah but I'm here I am still not getting bookings I'm still not wrestling with the the big names and the big companies and like I'm not wrestling with the girls like I used to you know I used to do these intergender matches and all this stuff and before it was like big and popular and now I'm sitting here hoping I can get on a show with you know kids I've been wrestling for more than five minutes well don't you have that rise thing yeah yeah, but, but I mean, I still don't know. You know, I, I'm not guaranteed a spot on that show. There's the, the training seminar and then that show, but you know, and then of course it's Shimmer Weekend too. Like, I'm, I'm still not working Shimmer. I'm not working any of these places. You know, I'm, I there's so many girls. There's this, there was the opportunity was there for what like 20, 25 girls. Now there's gonna be 40 girls. So it's just like I'm not gonna. I don't know. I'm hoping not to miss a, a good chance there. I feel like I deserve to be there. But we all miss uh, speaking of, I can do that stupid promo for them. I can't wait. I'm watching this. I just it's gonna take five minutes. Let me go do my makeup. You uh, finish that, and we'll fine. go do this promo. I've been trying my damn 
to get somewhere. And with this, this shimmer crew, so many promoters and so many people backing me, and you, of course, I really feel like I can go somewhere. I promise you. I promise you. This is the first. This will be the last. I'm going to build my legacy. I'm going to build a career. I don't care if I have to start from scratch. I'm going to start somewhere and it starts right now. Thank you. Rise to Ascent, I take on Delilah Doom for my Phoenix of Rise Championship. Now Delilah, I used to be a lot like you, wanted to be loved and adored by everyone, but I realized that not everyone wanted to support me like I wanted them to be my friend. So over the years, I've come to realize that it's about focusing on me, my training in and out of the ring. Me taking myself places, not everyone else. Consider that in your training, Delilah. Worry about you, not everyone else. After all, your fans being cute and adorable, they're not going to win you titles. You have to do it yourself. <laughs> right. Rise, what have you done? You claim to wish to mold the minds and futures of the next generation of women's athletes, and yet you willingly put them in proximity with a demon. What is it you hope to accomplish by this? That in hopes that by seeing the atrocities that we have committed for our personal gain, that they will see the wrongs, they will see there is a more righteous path and choose accordingly. <laughs> After all, the treacheries of a demon are nothing compared to the betrayals of angels. <laughs> You're wrong. For the devil is a powerful temptress and we come to rise seeking a soul, a new follower, a new member for the hive. <laughs> they call out, we want more, we're never satisfied, and we can hear the hunger in your fresh young girls. <laughs> there is one, like a moth to the flame, she will join. Ascend, descend, hell awaits you. All right, Delilah, Rise 2, Phoenix of Rise Championship. It's right here, it's right around the corner. I hope you're ready. I see you took my advice, you trained hard, did some new things. I'm gonna tell you, come Friday, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. I am so excited to be challenging Angel Dust tonight for the Phoenix of Rise champion. I am so ready. I've tried so many new things. I did this laddie pulley thingy. I did the press bench in my bobber thingy in my bobber. Some cables, which I went, and it was so cool. Oh man, I tried squat. What the hell? Precisely, little one. <laughs> Delilah, doom, is it? <laughs> We know a few things about doom and destruction. If you would care to have a first class education, the offer's there. Think about it. <laughs> Rise two, it's my time. My first title defense, my first opportunity. I still feel like I have something to prove but I feel like I'm finally working my way there. Delilah Doom, I hope you're ready, hon. Cause I sure am. <laughs> Angel. Dust. <laughs> you're ready for your title defense? We know a few things about that. If you care 
to take the next step, if you care to truly make an impression and gain the respect that you deserve, come find us. But Angel Dust, with that experience advantage, 10 years in the profession of professional wrestling, hangs on to the Phoenix of Rise Championship. Delilah Doom trying to get back to her feet here. Hard fought match from both competitors. to see a handshake, some sportswomanship. Rosemary, what's she doing coming out Why here? Why is she back? What does she want with this? A little bit earlier today, she interrupted Delilah Doom's interview heading into this matchup. I don't know what Rosemary has to do with what's going on right here. to figure out how she got those souls to begin with? Well, Rosemary making her way inside the ring now. Both women wisely backing away. What do you want? We don't want none of your demon magic or whatever. We don't. None of it. No, Delilah no, no, putting no, no, no. herself in harm's way. You don't want Almost protecting Angel Dust. Wait, what's what? this? Angel Dust from behind! What? Why? Dude, I'm looking at... Angel Dust! She said earlier the treachery of demons is nothing compared to the betrayal of angels. Is what? that what she meant? Did she mean that a literal angel is an angel dust? Angel dust. Betrayal here. We need a referee with a oh, red. No. None of them will come to the And Rosemary with Delilah Doom. Oh. Plants her. We need help. We need a referee. We need a red. Somebody get in there. A couple of referees people. heading there, making their way to the ring. The mist of Rosemary. Grab her, get her out. Referees, get to Lila Doom. Well, Rosemary and Angel Dust forming some sort of alliance here to close Rise 2 Ascent here in Southgate, California. Angel Dust subsequently selling her soul of sorts to the demon herself. This is an unholy alliance if I've ever seen one. Well, tomorrow at AWS, Angel Dust will defend against Britt Baker, but what does this mean for the future of Rise? We thank you for joining us. Please visit WrestlingPipeline.com yes. for all of the latest and upcoming seminars for female wrestlers and live events. We thank you for joining us on Smart Mark Video. <laughs> we told you we came to rise with a purpose. We told you decay always has an ulterior motive. We are everywhere and we came for a soul. You didn't listen, Rise. We warned you the treachery of demons is nothing compared to the betrayal of angels. Thank <laughs> you.